When I was about 18 years old, my father gave me a camera when I was going to Lake Placid. And I remember that first photo like it was yesterday and it changed my world. I photographed a stream and I came home from Lake Placid and I said, I'm going to be a photographer. I think it's really important for us to lend our expertise and our creativity to organizations that need visuals. So my photography career has always been parallel with my charitable giving, uh, whether it's um, with my work or volunteer work. I mean, you live in Ottawa for 50 years, it's hard not to know Michelle Valberg. You have to live like a hermit not to know her. Years and years ago, she used to be the uh, photographer for many uh, weddings here in the synagogue. You know, watching her from there, that she just grew naturally into uh, being the stalwart community person, that she always, it was always there, it was uh, breathing within her. Anyone in this city that's asked her for a piece of art, for an event, for an auction, uh, for a waiting room in a hospital setting, anything at all, she says yes. So her, her generosity abounds. I've known Michelle uh, 30 years. And for about 10 years ago, she asked me to join an organization she was founding called Project North. It's an organization based here in Ottawa that uh, delivers brand new hockey equipment to Inuit kids. When I started to work on a book on Canada, I wanted to experience the Arctic and I wanted to photograph the Arctic. I wanted it to be a special place in the book. And I wanted to bring that back to the South. And as I started to continue my journeys through the Arctic, I experienced the communities and the people, and I saw a real need. They are huge hockey fans, uh, and they a lot of times have access to community rinks, but they don't have access to the equipment to play. So I wanted to give back and I decided that I would do a one-time use drive for hockey equipment and we had such success that it, it was easy to, to grow. And today, um, by the end of the season, we'll have reached a million dollars in hockey equipment donations and soccer and some educational platforms that we've been involved with. Her work takes her many places, but one of the the biggest things that she's proudest of is that she comes from the city of Ottawa. She really wrote the book of how to look for ways within the sphere of the things that you do best uh, to enhance the community. And she's done that. I am very, very proud of our city and I'm very proud to represent Ottawa in any way that I can. I think we're all ambassadors to the city. and. Um, we all, there's so many volunteers and so many people doing amazing things and making a difference in the lives of our community and, and our country all the time. So I share this with everybody. I share this with my family and my friends that have stood by me. What's next for me is just to continue my work and to, um, to enjoy and to love what I do every day. I'm very lucky.